Hey everybody, welcome back to House Groups after a couple weeks off. We're so glad that you can join us this week. Uh, this week we are kicking off our series on parables called Teach Me a Story. Uh, and you might be wondering, like, what, what is a parable? You've probably heard a lot of the stories or parables that we're going to be reading over the next few weeks, but a parable is one of the ways that Jesus taught most often. Jesus was known to be an incredible storyteller, and oftentimes Jesus would use a story in order to teach a deeper truth in a way that would stick with people better than him just saying, you know, you must do this, this, and this. Instead, he would teach a bigger important truth in the form of a story that people could connect with. And one of the things that's so cool about parables is that these parables, these teachings that Jesus made 2,000 years ago, over 2,000 years ago, still have this lasting effect today because that's the effect that stories can have on all of us. It's why so many people love going to movies and we just get so wrapped up in and captivated by the plot line of a movie that we're watching or a really good book that we're reading. Our brains are wired to just really dive into stories. And so it would make sense that Jesus would use stories or parables as a really common way to teach. But so often today, we boil parables down to just this one truth or we just say, oh, this is absolutely, Jesus told this whole story only to say this one thing. And I think one of the ways that we go wrong is the fact that we often just, we take so much power away from parables when we just say, oh, I've already heard this one, it's about this. One of the coolest things about Jesus' teaching using parables is that two people can sit down and read through the same exact parable and come away with different views and approaches on what Jesus was saying. And so, for example, the story for tonight, the parable for tonight, is the parable of the sower. And Jesus talks about planting seed in different types of soil. And at different points in my life, when I've heard this story or when I've read it, it has deeply impacted me in very different ways. When I was in high school, when I read this, I saw things very differently than, for example, when I read it last week. I was impacted by different aspects and different elements because my stage of life is very different from when I first heard it. Oftentimes when Jesus taught using a parable with a larger crowd, it says, the Bible says that he would then pull his disciples aside and explain the meaning of the parable to them. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of times these explanations actually aren't even recorded, which is kind of a beautiful thing because it forces us, as we're reading them today, to think through what the parable could mean for ourselves instead of just waiting to hear Jesus explain exactly what he meant. And I love this quote that I read earlier today talking about the power of parables, and it says this, what makes the parables mysterious or difficult is that they challenge us to look into the hidden aspects of our own values, our own lives. They bring to the surface the unasked questions and they reveal the answers we have always known but refuse to acknowledge. If we hear a parable and think, I really like that, or worse, fail to take any challenge from it, we're not listening to it well enough. Too often we settle for the easy interpretation or we just kind of only let a parable sit at the surface. But what Jesus is inviting all of us to do is to really ask the questions and to really dig into what the parables are, this parable is making us think or question or ask or want to know more about. Parables have a way of cutting through to the deepest part of us and forcing us to ask those questions that we may not have thought about before or we've thought about before but we haven't engaged with. Them with new ears and listening for the ways that God might be speaking to you through the teachings of Jesus. And I'm so excited that we get to go on this journey with each other over the next few weeks and can't wait to see what God does in these times together.